But this was the one that, to me, was bleeding. This was the one that was actually spurting. A scar across yeah, his chin, a shirt covering six other stab wounds on his chest and stomach. Painful reminders of Art Belcher's night of terror. I knew he was going to attack. Uh, I saw it in his eyes, and then when he lunged at me, of course, I knew the attack was imminent. Police say the man behind the attack was Andrew Wallace. He had two knives hidden on him when he was admitted into the St. Thomas Psychiatric Ward. Art recalls Wallace seemed anxious, but the stabbing came out of nowhere. And then I just remember seeing blood, you know, on my hands and on my uniform. Uh, and that's when I realized that he had been, you know, stabbing me. A security guard for five years, Art worried about protecting others. I do remember, you know, keeping him away from the others. A nurse convinced Wallace to drop the knife. Hospital police held him, and Art was in the fight of his life. It was definitely life and death. Nurses hurried to Art's side, and one of them was his wife of 27 years, Rhoda. By chance, she was working the psych floor. She has a hard time talking about that, you know, uh, even with me. Rhoda held the bleeding wounds until Art was rushed away for emergency surgery. Without her, I, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't be here either. He spent a month in hospitals and got a hero's welcome when he was released. Art knows just how close the knives came to taking his life. They seem to say it went across the heart. Unfortunately, it didn't puncture the heart at all. Friends raised thousands for the family, selling Belcher Brave wristbands. Art, an elder at his church, continues to get physical and occupational therapy while counting his blessings. It just shows that the, the Lord hears people's prayers, and uh, he definitely kept me, you know, he kept me uh, from death.